on you. So Matthew 24 and, and 36. Twenty-four and thirty-six. And it says, But of that day and hour no man knoweth, no, not angels of the heaven, but the Father only. So that day, the day, that's the day when uh, the Lord sends your house shot back. Right? Even uh, uh, now, the one thing we don't know, which the Lord knows, and Yahweh Shai knows, when Esau is going to move on us. This is one thing that we don't know. So we got to always be circumspect and be ready. Okay? Keeping our shield of faith, keeping our going, uh, uh, growing, uh, girded, loins girded. Okay? And it says, but as the days of Noah, there shall come also the coming of the Son of Man be. For the day, as, it, as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving unto marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark. Okay? And they knew not until the flood came, took them away. See? Now, I'm using that flood like for Esau. They're going to come in, the, the uh, martial law troops, okay? That's the flood. That's the, uh, uh, the, the, the basically the new flood, man. Okay, they're going to come in just like that flood came in, came in unaware. They swept people away. Esau's going to try to do that during the time of martial law, man. They come in to sweep you away, to, uh, 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 to come against you, to, to try to force you, to force you to obey uh, Esau. Take the RFID chip, man. And I think the same passage is in Luke. I want to say 17. I was there at first. Somewhere right in there. Yeah. It was six. I was looking at it in 26, but I went back to Matthew, but it's in 17 to 26 said the same thing. So Esau is getting ready to rush in, man. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta, we just gotta keep our prayers, man, and pray to you, how about Shem al Shai, that he, that he looks after us in that day. Cause Esau, man, they gonna come in, they ain't gonna be sparing nothing, bro. If you in the mind frame, I'll have a pistol and I, I shoot them when they come to the door, you're gonna lose, man. You're gonna lose, you know. It's all about faith, you know. At this point, if you point, if you point a gun at Esau coming through the door during the time of Jacob's trouble and all that, then you don't have faith, man. You know? So, hey, just pray to you how about Shemel was shot. Trust that he's gonna protect you and keep you. It says Second Ezra 16 and uh I'll start at uh 66. What will ye do or how will ye hide your sins before the most high and his angels, man? So two-thirds, how you gonna hide your sins, man? The Lord, hey, these 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 troopers that he's gonna send in, basically, it's, it's the Lord's doing. Esau's in that seat to basically be a whooping stick, excuse me, unto Jake, okay? And it says, behold, the Most High himself is the judge, see? Fear him, leave, see, fear the Most High, man. Don't fear what Esau, when they come through the door, if they got guns drawn, don't even fear, you know? Fear the most high, man. Okay, we reverence your Bash and our shot, man. We, we confess, we confess his name in the world. Okay. We don't we don't fear in that time. He, he's talking to have 50 tummy guns drawn on you, man. Call Halal Yahweh Bash and our shot, man. You know? I'm not taking no chip. You know? 
I'm not taking no vaccine. And if for you, hey, to get to get shot up, then hey, the glory be to you. How about some y'all shot me? Okay. And it says, Behold, the Most High Himself is the judge. Fear Him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. See, Yahweh going to lead you. Yahweh about Shemuel Shai. He said he going to lead you forth, man, and deliver you from all trouble, man. So, hey, in that day, man, ain't no sense of Jake sitting back with AKs pointing at the door waiting on Esau to come in and you in the truth. That's something that two thirds, that's a mind frame of the two thirds, man. Peace to the Lord, so he gonna lift up a standard. Okay? And when that word standard goes into attack, he might give you the spiritual power of X-Men. You might be like Wolverine. Every time they shoot you, the bullet go through and, and you and, and your your flesh will repair it on the spot. Or it just bounce off. Okay? He might give you the power of Magneto. When they shoot the bullets, you might be able to raise your hand up and stop all the bullets in mid-air and turn them back on them and, and, they, and, they, and, they, and, they, and they get shot. He might have you be like Mystique. You be able to disappear and take on the form of one of the officers that, that's in the room. And they'll be like, damn, he disappeared. And then you be walking amongst them. Okay, they'll think you one of the officers. That's what Mystique would do. She would take the form of somebody else. How you think Yahweh Shai was getting away from the multitude, man? When he was healing, those people was coming out to him, man, heal. They was wanting him to heal. They were running after him. When he hit a corner, they come around the corner, he be gone. That's spiritual power, man. The Lord might give you spiritual power. He said it, he said it right here. He said, so shall the most high lead forth, lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble, man. So you have to have your faith, man, your trust in your how about Shemi Shai, man, in this time that's coming. In these in these rugged times of Jacob's trouble. Because then Daniel has just said it's gonna be like a time never was since the nation. He said Esau gonna come in like a flood which is symbolic of the same flood that came in in the time of Noah. It's gonna rush in like that Russian water. It's gonna knock you off course, man. Like, like, a, like Russian water would do. The Russian water would take you anywhere it wants you to go. And that's what Esau and them planning on doing, man. When they rushing your house, man, they are gonna take you where they wanna take you. You just gotta, hey, and if it's for the Lord to have you get in the truck and have faith and you disappear in the truck, or you have spiritual powers in the truck, that so be it. It might be for the Yahweh Bashan Al Shah to give you the power when you uh, uh de decline to take take the uh the idols uh that was that that's uh, uh given unto you. You you might have to be laying on a guillotine or at at, at at the end of a firing squad. Okay, it might be like that. But what does the scripture say on that? What does the scripture say on that? Let's get it. Okay, let's get it. This is Sirach 4 and 28. It says, Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord Yahweh Shemiah shall fight for thee. He gonna fight for you, man. Okay? It says, The Lord Yahweh Shemiah Shai gonna fight for you. Who better to have fight for you than your house about Shemiah Shai, man? Okay? You know? You, you want to have him on your side, man. So strive for the truth unto death, man. And they said, your house about Shemiah Shai gonna fight for us, man. Okay? So just keep your faith, man. And keep praying, man. So when that time of trouble comes, hey, put your how about Shimmy Al-Shah first. And believe what he said. Hey, hey you got to believe the words, man. That's what belief is, man, having that faith. 
I believe he gonna fight for me, man. I believe he gonna do what he said he gonna do. You know? If he give me that power, if he give me that power, guess what? You gonna know if you got the power. You gonna feel it, you gonna know it. You gonna know if you got spiritual power. And if, it, and if it's for you, too, that standard is for you to attack them, it's not gonna be with about carnal means. It's gonna be by the spiritual power means. Okay? That's how the Lord's showing his power. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna show you the power. He's not gonna show y'all the power by Esau busting down, you got an AK, and you dropping two or three of them when they come through the door, because guess what? They finna shoot something through the house that's gonna blow the whole house up. Then what? Now he gonna show you going he gonna show that power. It's going you ain't gonna have no weapon. You just might come out and lift your hands up and a force field come and knock everybody a hundred feet that way. And then have some live to tell the story. Man, I can't believe what just happened. He came out, he made he lift his hands up and fire shot from his hands. They'll know that that power came from Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. We were shooting with everything he had, and he wouldn't even fall it. That's the kind of power the Lord gonna show these people, man. Okay? Hey, keep your faith, man. The Lord gonna, gonna fight for us, man. He said, strive for the truth to death, man. Okay? It's uh, second Ezra 16. <clears throat> and I'll read that again. Behold, 67. The most high Yahweh is, is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the most high lead forth and shall deliver you from all trouble. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take certain of you, feed you being idle with the things offered until idols, man. That great wrath, that multitude is going to be kindled over you, man. Hey, man, Esau is getting ready. Hey, he didn't already brought the National Guard back from overseas, man. They took an oath against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Now, you, you are looking at as being the enemy because they're trying to push an agenda to bring a new world order. You are looked at as the enemy. So they're going to bring these troops and whatnot. They're going to come in against the people, man. Okay? They're going to try to usher in that Mike RFI teacher. Okay? What it says right here. Revelations 13. 13. In, uh... I start at uh, 11, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and had two horns like a lamb and spake like a dragon, okay? Back then it was the plebeians and the patricians. Now they call them the Democrats and the Republicans. The two horns on the same beast, man, okay? The beast being the old Roman Empire, right? Now that beast is that, what, the NATO and the EU is, you know, okay? Two horns on the same beast, man. They act like they're against each other, but they for it. They for the same thing, man. They'll have you thinking they, they argue amongst each other, and they go home, and they sip, uh, they sip, they sip good whiskey, man. They sip Uncle Dearest, Uncle uh, uh, Nearest when they go home, man. They sip the best uh, whiskey, man, when they go home together, okay? And it says, and he exercised all power of the first beast before him, the Roman Empire, okay? And caused the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound were healed, man. Because the Roman Empire was what? Taken down in uh, 193. And then we, we took over, the Israelites took over, which they called the Byzantine Empire. And then Esau came back. Because the Lord had already had a prophecy that he would return and build a desolate places. This being what the second time, the, the Renaissance period being the second time, the Greek and the Roman Empire being the first time when he returned to build his destined places, okay? And it says, um, that he doth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven 
on earth in the sight of men, making fire come down from heaven in the sight of men.